You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have uh, what's becoming a familiar face, or who's becoming a familiar face, our library director, Paul Engel. Hey, Hello, Paul, Mark. how are you? Good to good, see you. Good to Long see you, Long time no see. We are doing another event at the library yesterday That's with right. uh, the immigration series. That's going well. There are more of those coming up. All the way till June. Uh, last night was a panel of women uh, dealing with immigration issues, all sorts of stuff. And you, if you didn't go, you'll get to see it on Brockton Community Access. That's right. Thank you guys for recording. Glad to be there. So um, what's new and different at the library? I, I, I know we were talking before we went on camera about new people. That's right. We have a new reference librarian, Diana Ortiz. And Diana comes to us from South Florida. She actually is moving, moved to Brockton from South Florida uh, for, for very personal reasons. That um, She's been very active so far. She's engaging the community. She's looping back to places like the Boys and Girls Club, people that I've talked to initially. So mm -hmm. it's good to have um, a fresh uh, set of legs out there. Um, and she's, uh, she's doing a great job so far. Well, I look forward to meeting her. <laughs> I haven't met her yet. And... Uh, you know, it's it's always nice. Uh, we have very experienced, seasoned people, mm -hmm. a lot of whom retired within the last year, and That's we right. have other people that have moving up the chain and new people moving in. So it's always good to have fresh faces. What's uh, what's coming up? There's always something going on at the library. I was at the NAACP breakfast this past Saturday, and I heard about all sorts of different things that they're doing at the library. They do right. quite a bit there. They uh, you have the maker space there. Pat Monteith, who's mm -hmm. involved with NAACP, is also involved with the library. So there's maker space coming up. You get your calendar open on your phone. It, and it keeps day. closing on me. <laughs> okay. But the first thing is uh, the 27th, coming up on, on Saturday, speaking of the maker space, mm -hmm. uh, is going to be our first Saturday with the maker space running. Uh, before, we were only open on Tuesday nights because of, of limited uh, uh, staffing. So uh, Pat Monteith and, and Paul Yamano, the city grant writer, and I wrote a grant, and, and, and uh, it's a federal grant, a youth, youth engagement, youth volunteer grant that's allowing us to um, train high school students to actually run the makerspace for us. Yay. And so, uh, and, and that's, that's just been a great a great thing so far. And, uh, our, our first uh, opening on Saturday is the 27th. I think we're going to stay open uh, as long as we can sustain this uh, this, this uh, grant and this run. What time is the opening? Uh, I knew you were going to ask that. I think it's at okay. 11 a.m. But okay, um, 11 sure. a.m. to 1 p.m. Okay, yes. and the library is open from 9 to 5 9 to 5, Saturday. Yes. Yep. 11 to 1, so that's right in the middle of the day. And that is upstairs on the second floor, yep. right? Mm -hmm. um, it, one point was the library director's office. That room has right. multi-purposes. It's near the Driscoll Art Gallery. That's right. Everything has a name uh, someplace <laughs> in the library, and uh, it, the library is handicapped accessible. There is an elevator to get you up to the top floor if you if you can't walk those stairs. I like to walk them so that you yeah. get a little bit of exercise every once in a while. That's my uh, stair master, I guess. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's the first thing coming up. Uh, what what else? Well, what, what else do we have coming up? I, actually, tying into that, if I could, just sure. for a minute. Uh, so with the, with the youth development grant that we have, we're, we're, we're now starting an L LSTA grant, uh, which we're going to write, again, with Paul, the city grant writer, and myself, and a few others, uh, to, to, to build a makerspace in the, in the children's room, mm -hmm. so that we, and maybe a more mobile makerspace. And what we would do is these, these volunteers that we have upstairs, once, once they get trained, we can send them downstairs and we, we can give them a small stipend to, to help out with that. So it's all tying together. We're starting to create some really nice synergies in the library. So now you and I know what LSTA uh, Yeah, is, that's true. I don't know if the public does, so explain that. Uh, LSTA, what does that stand for, Mark? Uh, libraries Library Services and, Technical Assistance, I think. Technology or, or something, yeah. Okay. It's, it's basically a, a, the a, state gives it's funds. a state grant that, that we get through, through the MBA, Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners, right. MBLC, and they fund a whole bunch of programs and, 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 uh, and, and grants that, that can enable us to build these type of programs into our libraries. Uh, very important things. And of course, on February 9th, we're having the Old Colony Library Network event, which is a legislative event where we're bringing our, our state legislatures into the Brockton Public Library, into the city of Brockton, to uh, demonstrate and talk about how important those, those funds are for libraries in the state. And Old Colony Library Network is kind of far and wide. It's the libraries that sur pretty much surround Brockton, although Easton is sales. And, right, um, right. But uh, Massasoit's part of that yeah, consortium. Kind of goes, Bridgewater, Bridgewater is. Yep. Yeah, I think it does go all the way down to Middleborough. Goes to Plymouth. I don't. Middleborough's not in us, but it kind of extends south 
But library East. networks are what allow interlibrary loan and books, right. to, and, books and materials, uh, DVDs, different things to go back and forth. Yep, delivery services. Right. You can get stuff from all the different libraries. I always tell my students, make sure you get your barcode on the back of your Massasoit ID so you can actually do that. I know our school at Southeastern, different network, mm -hmm. but we're plugged into that network because we decided we didn't want to buy all the materials anymore so we can borrow them. It, that's right. And that's the whole idea of a free public library. That's right. Okay. So so um, that's a big deal because that's the directors from the different towns, the, the reps and senators from the different towns. I'm sure our mayor is going to be there to welcome people yep. to come. And we're going to have some food. Yes, we are. As well. Some and we, we luckily had donations from the different libraries, uh, the local union, yep. um, the library foundation. Everybody's been part of the cause. And um, we want to showcase Brockton Public Library. We're proud of it. It's in good Absolutely. shape. Absolutely. We like it's having a, it there. It's a beautiful library. And this is the first time Brockton's hosted this event. So that's, um, it's, a, it's a big win for the city, too. Now, I noticed that there's always events in the library that aren't sponsored by the library per se, but because we're a community center, mm -hmm. other groups use it. So Rob May from the planning department is having, this is a downtown Brockton green space plan, and he's hosting two public meetings at the library. The first one's on the 30th of January, 6 to 7.30. The second one is the 27th of February from 6 to 7.30. And we're talking about green spaces, okay? That's now, great. Now, we've been fortunate at the library that the Garden Club sort of adopted us and did a lot of work. They gave a lot of money and did some of the stone benches. They did uh, a lot of the work to dress up the library. And then Arnie Danielson and his crew <laughs> of volunteers came in and did that because there really isn't a budget for landscaping for the library. They're really, we have a park department that does everything they possibly can with the small amount of people they have. And they also deal with cemeteries right. and ball fields and everything else. So green space in downtown, if you look at downtown, we probably have more than some cities do, but we probably don't have as much. If you look at it, there's a lot of asphalt yeah. all over the place. So anytime we can green anything and make it look better and be more environmentally friendly, that's a good thing. So they're asking for public input and public participation. And that's, and, and having it at the library is a great, a great place. It, it underscores what, what I've always said and you've always said is libraries are, are, are public resources and they're, they're community centers. And this is a place where people can go and, and, and talk about uh, greening up downtown Brockton. So we know that uh, we encourage people to use the library. If people want to book an event for a nonprofit group, mm -hmm. they get in touch with the library at the main number. Yep. Um, Tina King. Tina King basically handles that. Sandy as well. Sandy a little bit. Okay. And Tina's out. We call the main number, and uh, we're not into online reservations yet, are we? Not yet. It's a no. paper and pencil thing. Yeah, we have but a steadfast we're work, calendar. We're, we're, we're working on that <laughs> um, because we want people to use it. I know we changed the policy last year to allow political groups That's to right. use it, but the one thing you can't do in a public building is raise money. Right. You can have an event there. You can't solicit money or business. Right. Okay. That's the whole nonprofit. So, in the one minute we have left, <laughs> do you have any final words? Um, Probably. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, well, other than the fact that it's 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 a uh, it's just past my year and it's been a pleasure uh, working with you in the library and and uh, I think you're doing a great job as chair and uh, um, I look forward to another year coming up. I love my library. That was my first job before I was ever cable. So thanks for coming. <laughs> Thank in. you, Give Mark. Us some, an update. We'll bring you back for more. Yes. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the city of Champions.